Early study of triangles can be traced to the 2nd millennium BC, in Egyptian mathematics and Babylonian mathematics. Systematic study of trigonometric functions began in Hellenistic mathematics, reaching India as part of Hellenistic astronomy. In Indian astronomy, the study of trigonometric functions flowered in the Gupta period, especially due to Aryabhata. During the Middle Ages, the study of trigonometry continued in Islamic mathematics. Hence it was adopted as a separate subject in the Latin West beginning in the Renaissance with Regimontanus. The development of modern trigonometry shifted during the Western Age of Enlightenment, beginning with 17th century mathematics and reaching its modern form with Leonhard Euler. Etymology The term trigonometry was derived from the Greek word tauro iota gamma omega nu omicron mu epsilon tauro iota alpha, meaning triangle measuring, from tauro iota gamma omega nu omicron plus mu epsilon tauro epsilon nu. Our modern word, sign, is derived from the Latin word sinus, which means bay, bosom, or fold, translating Arabic jb. The Arabic term is in origin a corruption of Sanskrit jiva, or cord. Sanskrit jiva in learned usage was a synonym of jy, cord, originally the term for bowstring. Sanskrit jiva was loaned into Arabic as jiba. This term was then transformed into the genuine Arabic word jb, meaning bosom, fold, bay either by the Arabs or by a mistake of the European translators such as Robert of Chester, who translated J.B. into Latin as Sinus. Particularly Fibonacci's Sinus Rector Sarcus proved influential in establishing the term Sinus. The words minute and second are derived from the Latin phrases part minuti primi and part minuti secundae. These roughly translate to first small parts and second small parts.